G'day guys, Mark here and welcome to On Empire. In this episode, you find out exactly why the VG hardtop didn't make it to episode 100. G'day guys, so today we're down here in the home shed and I've had an absolute gutful of these blokes online posting pictures and videos of their ratty muscle cars, their bloody barn finds that they're dragging out, putting big tyres on, big engines and just going out and having a ball. I've had it, I've had it up to here. I'm just freaking over it. So, you know what? Enough's enough. I'm going to get stuck back into the VG hardtop. Okay, so y'all going to know this from way back, episode four. We're talking back in the beginning when I sucked even more at this. And I introduced you to this car. Unfortunately, you didn't see the engine swap. You didn't see a heap of the work that went into this car getting on the road, but over the years, it has sat for months at a time, sometimes over a year. And this time, it's no different. We didn't use, I haven't used this since late last year. And I thought, you know what? We're coming up to episode 100 of the Iron Empire. And maybe I need to do something memorable or something big, or I don't even know. So, what I could think of is that maybe we need to get the VG out. We need to do a good old fashioned road trip. Now, I'm planning on doing this trip in potentially a week or two, probably two, and casting my mind back to what happened with this car last is that I thought, yeah, I need to put a car on it. I stole the carby for another car. I need to put that back. I need to plumb the tank back up. Probably need to pull the tank out. The tank's really full of crap. Man, probably need to do the front end up. Anyway, let's get stuck into it. I kind of felt enthused. Freezing cold winter's day. Can't be asked. But no, get out there, do a little bit. So I come out here and I pop the bonnet and check this out. <gasps> oh, I forget putting the double pumper on it. This thing came off an F truck that we sold and it was too much carby for what that is. <laughs> it's like new. I forgot that I went through this carby with Dave at Dave Lee Race Engines and we put a kit through it. Actually, I don't think we even did. We looked at it and it was like clean as a whistle. And I cannot remember putting this carby on. Now it looks like I haven't connected up the fuel line. I do need to reattach it to the tank. Aside from that, I reckon this thing's good to go. There's fuel in the bowl. I just checked it. The battery's already connected. So we're gonna put her in neutral and kick her in the guts. <laughs> oh, maybe there isn't. Maybe there isn't fuel. All right, it begins. For those playing at home, we can give this a little pump and you'll see a squirt going on in there. So it definitely has fuel, which means it hasn't got any spark because this thing usually fires like that.
car up, wondering why it didn't want to idle. Well, it sort of idled, but I needed to build the revs right up. It's usually, it's really, really sweet, fires up and runs really good. And then I realized after letting it warm up for like five minutes, I left two leads disconnected <laughs> when I was fitting the coil. So that be why. Now I'm gonna try and back this thing out in the front so I can get it out. I need to flush the radiator. And I've got no fucking brakes. Oh, dude, zero brakes. Holy shit, that could have been bad. Nearly hit the dodge. Oh, I have to address that. Ah, dang it. All right, guys, so it is a grueling winter's day out there. I thought I'd take this chance to hide in the car and tell you all about the updates with the online store. It's come to my attention that I've been a little bit slack when it comes to updating the merch on the store. So I thought I'd get together all the bits and pieces that weren't online. And uh, for anyone that wants to pick up, support the channel. And um, starting off with the Falcon Trilogy series was a huge success. Unfortunately, I ran out of stubby holders and also t-shirts, but I still do have banners. So I've got banners for the shed. I also have bar runners, and I'm gonna put them together as a bar pack with uh, a generic Iron Empire stubby holder as well. Also, you can get sticker packs. We still have Doom Sled and XB in a pack with a vinyl cut sticker, either in white or black, and two round logo stickers. Or, I've upped my game. I actually upped this game a little while back and I haven't even put it on the channel yet, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Andrea. For you Holden fans out there, give some love to the UC Tirana. I have Andrea's little UC that we restored on the channel, artwork done, and that is available in a sticker pack as well. But not only that, if you're a diehard Holden guy and you want to show some love to the most hated, the UC Tirana, bam! We have UC Tirana banners. And why do we choose the UC? Well, as you know, we restored the UC on the channel and that's what we've got. We're showcasing cars that have been on the channel and are gonna to continue to be on the channel. So if you wanna pick up some Iron Empire merch, check out the online store. The support goes a long way. It's the ironempire.com.au or hit the link in the description below. Now let's get stuck back in this VG video. Just plucking out this uh, rear wheel cylinder and when I pulled the drum off, brake parts fell out. So that's probably the reason the brakes weren't working. And if we have a look here, this is just disintegrated. That wheel cylinder is knackered, man. So how that's happened, I've got no idea, but um, We'll go through everything here, make sure it's all gonna sort of stay intact. And bleed the brakes, my favorite. Uh, so I've got the brakes all assembled now, all except for the drum here. Before I put the drum on, I'm just going to give it a few gentle pumps and just to see if I can get this wheel cylinder to move uh, the shoes and make sure nothing's leaking and everything's all operating properly before I go ahead and put that on. You want to be careful doing that. You don't want the pistons to pop back out again. While I'm waiting for someone to come home to help me bleed these brakes, I haven't got a uh, one-man bleeder. I thought I'd show you a couple of things in this car that I actually done years ago before the channel even existed. The first one being the stud pattern on the this whole car. Actually, I changed the stud pattern. VG and earlier have a smaller stud pattern and then VH Valiant onwards had the larger stud pattern, which is the same as the Ford. And so I took these axles out. I weld. <coughs> so what I was trying to say, before I was rudely interrupted by a 
malfunctioning camera is that the mounting surface of the axle, I welded up all the holes, linished it all smooth, so it was just pretty much a disc. And then I borrowed a jig from a local machine shop, placed that on top and then drilled out the holes to a five by one 14.3, which is the same as the late model Valiant and also forward so I could fit these sweet ass SS Craigers on it. And in the front, I just simply put um, VH disc brakes on the front, which converted that to the later stud pattern. Also, I didn't have the money at the time and I wanted to put the V8 in it and I actually made up this um, offset brake booster assembly. So these things were available, but they were sort of like about a thousand dollars at the time. They may be more now, I don't even know. They may be less, but they weren't available uh, for an affordable thing. So I ended up getting one of a friend and um, using that as a template and then yeah, cutting, welding, grinding, mocking up and I managed to get this whole thing to work. And I now have myself a DIY offset brake booster assembly and I would not recommend. We've taken the car out the front. The reason it's sitting in this peculiar position is that I am going to drain the cooling system. I put some engine flush in it. And so now I just want to idle it, run some uh, fresh water with the hose through and let it sort of cycle for ages and try and clean this all out. I can't remember why I wanted to do that, but there was a reason for it. But yeah, I'm just going to get that sorted now. And then we'll top the fluids and then, uh, yeah, go for a strap, give it a clean, see how it goes. Hopefully we'll make it out and home in one piece. All right, here we go, maiden voyage. I swear every drive in this bloody car is a maiden voyage. It's filthy, I can hardly even see out the freaking windscreen, but I'm gonna get to the uh, car wash, give it a hose off. Probably not the best idea, the interior went out wet as the outside, but put it through its paces and if it lasts the day and I'm happy, I might take it out on the weekend. Okay, so I've just been to the car wash, I've given the car a hose off, and of course I've forgotten my, um, my three-footed monster camera mount. So I'm holding the bloody phone like a sucker, so I'm not gonna do much footage today. I just wanted to make sure that it's all doing what it's gonna do. Put a bit of fuel in it. It's not getting warm, it's behaving. I'm happy that on the weekend, after a good detail inside, because it is filthy, that we can go out, maybe check out a cup of coffee in cars and uh, just enjoy it. So that's gonna be it for now. I'm confident that we can jump in this thing on the weekend and go out and have some fun. good man <laughs> so just as i was driving home only a couple streets from the driveway i hear some squealing coming from the engine bay and um unfortunately it wasn't a fan belt it was something worse i have a very unfortunate sounding squeal slash maybe a bit of a grindy sound coming from the engine internals. 
So I have a feeling we have some damage inside. I haven't even bothered to pull the oil filter apart, but I can almost guarantee that there's some internal problems. I got a feeling that maybe something's happened with some cam bearings. It does sound very high. And I have chewed cam bearings once before, and this sounds a lot like that did. So we got issues with the VG. Uh, safe to say this is the reason why this car didn't make the 100th episode and this is now in fact the 101st episode to show you all of my failures so <laughs> unfortunately the vg is going to be shelved for a little while longer until i decide what to do with this thing of course i will check the oil filter and check out what it actually is try to diagnose it before i start plucking motors out but ultimately this thing needs some attention and you know what it's probably not a bad thing well it is a bad thing don't get me wrong but i need to go through this car properly i need to do the front end up i need to deal with a whole lot of things that make this thing a very undrivable car and i want to turn it into a very drivable car so we'll get all that done but it's not going to be anytime soon unfortunately it's going to be shelved yet again but the good thing is it's always going to be around it's going nowhere i own the car i got the space so at the end of the day it's not all bad. So that's going to be a wrap on this episode of the Iron Empire. Thanks for coming back. I'm sorry. It was such a flop episode. I'm so bummed that this didn't make it to episode 100. We were going to do a road trip and it was going to be amazing. But, but, but I failed. And uh, that's what happens when playing with cars. So come back for more failures or hopefully more success on another episode of the Iron Empire. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the online store, and I'll see you all on an upcoming episode. Cheers, guys.